The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the Book of Wisdom. But the souls of the upright are in the hands of God, and no torment can touch them. To the unenlightened, they appeared to die. Their departure was regarded as disaster. They're leaving us like annihilation, but they are at peace. If, as it seemed to us, they suffered punishment, their hope was rich with immortality. Slight was their correction. Great will their blessings be. God was putting them to the test and has proved them worthy to be with him. He has tested them like gold in a furnace and accepted them as a perfect burnt offering. At their time of visitation, they will shine out. As sparks run through the stubble, so will they. They will judge nations, rule over peoples, and the Lord will be their king forever. Those who trust in him will understand the truth. Those who are faithful will live with him in love. For grace and mercy await his holy ones, and he intervenes on behalf of his chosen. And our response is taken from Psalm 27. Yahweh is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? Yahweh is the fortress of my life. Whom should I dread? One thing I ask of Yahweh, one thing I seek, to dwell in Yahweh's house all the days of my life, to enjoy the sweetness of Yahweh, to seek out his temple. Yahweh, hear my voice as I cry. Pity me. Answer me. Of you my heart has said, seek his face. Your face, Yahweh, I seek. Do not turn away from me. Do not thrust aside your servant in anger. Without you, I am helpless. Never leave me. Never forsake me, God my Savior. This I believe. I shall see the goodness of Yahweh in the land of the living. Put your hope in Yahweh. Be strong. Let your heart be bold. Put your hope in Yahweh. In our second reading, from the letter of the Apostle Paul to the Romans. And a hope which will not let us down because the love of God has been poured into our hearts by the Holy Spirit which has been given to us. When we were still helpless at the appointed time, Christ died for the godless. You could hardly find anyone ready to die even for someone upright. Though it is just possible that for a really good person, someone might undertake to die. So it is proof of God's own love for us that Christ died for us while we were still sinners. How much more can we be sure, therefore, that now that we have been justified by his death, we shall be saved through him from the retribution of God? For if, while we were enemies, we were reconciled to God through the death of his Son, how much more can we be sure that, being now reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. What is more, we are filled with exultant trust in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have already gained our reconciliation. In a reading from the Holy Gospel, according to St. John, on arriving, Jesus found that Lazarus had been in the tomb for four days already. Bethany is only about two miles from Jerusalem. And many Jews had come to Martha and Mary to comfort them about their brother. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him. Mary remained sitting in the house. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that God will grant whatever you ask of him. Jesus said to her, your brother, Will rise again. Martha said, I know he will rise again at the resurrection on the last day. And Jesus said, I am the resurrection. Anyone who believes in me, even though that person dies, will live. And whoever lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? Yes, Lord, she said, I believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, the one who was to come into this world. The Gospel of the Lord.